In early 2011, Slum Dwellers International achieved a small landmark. The number of households who save in SDI-linked women's collectives had reached 1 million. In November 2011, another landmark was reached. SDI achieved a presence in over 400 cities in the Global South. But these are not the numbers that really matter. What matters are the benefits and the material gains achieved by poor communities who have chosen to work with SDI. In the course of the last 10 years, SDI groups have assisted over 200,000 families to avoid eviction and uncertainty by securing land tenure in one form or another. SDI affiliates have assisted most of these families to install basic services such as drainage, water, sanitation, roads and energy. By November 2011, SDI's investment in land and services exceeded $62 million. This money came from community contributions, government subsidies and funds leveraged from international agencies. Over 55,000 of these families have now built formal houses on an incremental basis. Many of the other families have made improvements to their formal dwellings. Investments in these houses now top $100 million. SDI affiliates also build and maintain public toilet blocks. By the middle of 2011, SDI had constructed 864 toilet blocks at the cost of $19 million. SDI also facilitated the construction of 64 community centers, 14 creches or schools, and 11 clinics. As impressive as these figures might sound, they are nothing compared to the scale of need. To have a real impact, SDI has to influence the policies of government, make them pro-poor. And that is exactly what these projects are designed to do. SDI can trigger a process, but other actors are needed especially government, for things to go to scale. At the end of the day, SDI delivers land, services and houses, not only to meet the needs of its members, but to get government to become more supportive of communities of the urban poor and to change their policies. That is why SDI's most important number is 14, which is the number of agreements SDI affiliates had signed with government departments by November 2011.